Hi! Oh my god, Chaos okay, here again. This time with a Pricey of Tarot episode. And this time I'm doing with Dark Prophecy. The third time in the series. So let's see. Pretty decent hand. Okay, Rose Warrior of Revenge. Can it's my turn now? First, I'm going to normal summon Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. Then, of course, the effect activates. I'm going to get myself Spellbook Library of the Crescent. Then, I'm going to activate it. Big fate power and wisdom. And this deck is my second favorite uh, prophecy uh, variant. It's really fun to play. And because it plays Dark Magician, of course, the, one of the most iconic cards of the, of the game. Although, of course, this deck can be quite inconsistent because uh, you play a lot of uh, high level monsters. I play six of them. Which, yeah, it can be a little problematic sometimes. But I don't think it's a huge problem. And I'm going to activate tower. Goes pretty much your advantage engine. And of course the fate, which is uh, the most powerful spellbook. Currently, currently illegal. Unfortunately, this series, Prophecy of Taruf, doesn't seem very popular. So, yeah. Activate Taurus effect. So episode 20 of this series might be the, might be the last one. Power. But quite nice time also getting 
kind of bored um, with this series. Professor is my favorite archetype, of course, but uh, the thing is that I don't have enough Prophecy variants to play with, so it's uh, not very exciting. Probably that's why this series is not as popular as the other Twinning series. Hmm. In this two. Okay, I have three in the graveyard, so I probably can get five to the graveyard now. Which is really nice. So I will summon out Reaper from the deck in the end phase. Okay, big secrets, of course. Get me spell of life. Tonight we full of process effect to send a spell book to the graveyard. I'm going to send spell of miracles. I might take spell of miracles out completely. Uh, it can be uh, pretty good in this deck, and uh, and also it's uh, another uh, spellbook name, which is really, really important for this deck. They able to get five different ones to the graveyard. So I activate full effect. So get me a Reaper of Prophecy. Oh, the key goes in the deck. The night with effect, of course. Search out Sprogo Secrets and get me a Prophecy Destroyer to the field. The next turn I can exceed summons if, if those monsters survive. Also play Tar Magician Girl, of course. Because it's a level 6 spellcaster. And because, of course, you can use Eye of the Mars on it to summon out Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. I also put uh, Eye of the Mars to 2, because you don't want to draw it uh, too soon if you don't have everything set up. Hmm, it's my turn then, okay. That's fine. Another fool. Yes, going to activate Tower's effect. Put back seeds of. That's pretty cool wisdom. Not bad, I guess. I saw not exceed summon. Nor it to the moral leader. Very nice rank six spellcaster. Exceed monster. Then going to exceed chains into dark magician of illusions. And back to its effect. Summon out the Dark Magician. I'm gonna activate that cigarettes. I have like so many cards in my hand, like so many options. 
Now I have not many spell books left in my in my deck. Doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what I should start with. Uh, and then I know it's on full. Then I'm going to attack. First, the dark magician. Then dark magician. Of Domination of Illusions effect activates and banish the card, banish the face of the monster. Okay, it's going to attack directly. Uh, really nice, more point didn't really do anything. Not even sure what point is playing. Like some kind of a synchro deck. Doesn't seem exactly very good. And finally domination of illusions. An act with full of Prophecy's effect and Mop and Surrendered, I think. Or at least quit. So, I won. So, let's go to the next well. And I'm back. So, let's see how it goes this time. Last well was pretty easy. Should I go first or second? In this deck, you really need that um, sixth card to make your combo plays happen. So yeah, my hand is um, unfortunately pretty mediocre. So let's see what point will do. Okay, supply unit. Oh, two of them. Could be young things or far kings. Mm, it's just, it's scraps, okay, that we expected. Although they are not played much. They are still not meta even with the fear spell and supply on it. Or that supply squad I mean like completely Yeah. Completely forgot that the name was changed. Um, hmm, what can I do here? Fortunately, not too much. I just normal summon full of prophecy. And I get effect. Put secrets to the graveyard. Yeah, really. I think I have to take take this card out. Doesn't seem too much in my hand. Especially if I throw it in my opening hand. It's not exactly good. Okay, MST. Well that kinda sucks. This was my only defense. It seems my point don't have a monster. Oh I threw the dark magician. That was that is pretty bad. Well I guess I will just attack. Nothing else to do. And hope my point doesn't throw anything good. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty much screwed because of my mediocre hand. No search cards. Okay, 
and activate effect. Get another spell book to graveyard. This time I will put the um, life of the crystal to graveyard. Because if I draw it, it will be a dead card. So I'm going to end my turn. So let's see what, what my opponent can do. My opponent doesn't uh, does nothing again. Then I have one. I guess scraps aren't exactly very consistent tech to use. Okay, I'm just going to attack for a game then. Okay. So yeah, I won. My opponent uh, couldn't do anything because because of a bad hand, I guess. So I think we can do one more duel. So yeah, and I'm back again. So yeah, it is the last duel of this video. Hope it uh, this duel won't be too long. Otherwise, the video will be definitely uh, way too long. Hmm, pretty mediocre hand, unfortunately again, but oh well. Yeah, this is a problem. But actually, actually, this is not bad, not bad, actually. I can just normal summon this and hope it's okay. Then I can just uh, send cigarettes to Gayward. Then act with master. I think I need to search out power because yeah, probably need to get over that photon crusher. But I'm not sure if it goes through. And I threw the spell of miracles in my opening hand again. Yeah, this card goes out. After I have finished recording this episode, don't seem exactly exactly good card, unfortunately. I rarely use this card. Oh no, Mirror Force! This sucks. Never imagined someone playing that still. Oh well, I might lose this duel. In the last duel I was just lucky that my opponent didn't have anything. Otherwise I would have definitely lost. Okay, collection night. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not good. And I'm also trying out Magical Exemplar again. Not sure how good this card really is. It has definitely has a lot of potential. But again you need your graveyard to be set up. Although you can summon of course from the hand as well. Oh no. Yeah that's the problem if, if you have a lot of postmasters in, in postmasters in the deck. So yeah. Or high level monsters. 
because if you throw them without the discard outlet, it really sucks. That's probably the biggest downside of uh, this version of the of prophecies. Call of Taunt is okay. Not sure what I'm trying to do, but I might be dead actually. If opponent can summon another monster. Hmm. I guess not. I'm still alive, but I need to draw something really good to be able to have a chance in this 12. Otherwise, I can pretty much surrender. Yeah, I still need to work on this deck, it seems. Hmm. Spam life. I'm not sure what this card can do. Hmm. I'm not sure. Can I normal summon magical exemplar? You spell good life. Which one I banish? Hmm. I, think, I don't think it matters anyway, I have pretty much lost. Guess I want this from the graveyard. It's a counter. Night with effect. Yeah, get this to the graveyard. But unfortunately, I don't think it matters much. Wow, seriously, magic cylinder! Oh my god, okay. Never imagined someone playing that. Okay, I guess I lost this time, but oh well. But uh, this is it for this episode of Prophecy of Truth. I hope you enjoyed this episode. For now, goodbye and Omar Chaos, out.